Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two new features of Padlet that I think you're going to like if you've been using Padlet for a while. Let's go ahead and take a look at these new features. They are connected to each other. Let's jump into my Padlet here. And let's say I have my blank Padlet that I want to use as a no want learn chart where I'm going to have all my students double click and write something that they learned, something they want to know, or something that they previously knew. Now, they can just double click and start writing, or they can use this function down here. That's a typical Padlet usage. But if we go over here to the right hand side, we're going to open our Padlet settings. And this is where the new features are found. We're going to switch from the format of a canvas or a wall to a grid. And when I choose the grid option, I then have the option to group posts by section. And you'll see that I now have a section listed here on my wall. And I'm going to rename this section as no. Then I'm going to add a section called want and a section called learn. And now when we add posts, we can add it to a specific section. And we'll see, there it is. There's that note. And we can put one here. And that's in that section. And put one here. Now, the other new feature is that I can share with my students just one of these sections of the Padlet wall and have them post just on the section that I've shared with them. And I'll do that by going over here to the right hand side to the share settings. And I'm going to use breakout links. I'm going to enable breakout links. And now you'll see there's a link I can give to just the no section, just the want section, or just the learn section. Now I can close that and I can go over here and also get a link to just that section by clicking the copy breakout link. And now I'll give that link to my students and they'll have access to just that part. So let's take a look at how that would appear to a student using that link. They're going to see, all right, Mr. Burns wall here requires a password. Very generic password. And now they'll see that this is just the no section of the wall, they're not seeing the entire thing. Now I can still share the entire thing with them if I want by just going to the share section and copying the link to the entire wall for my students. So those are two new features of Padlet that you might find helpful for sharing content with your students. As always, for more things like this, including more than two dozen other Padlet tutorials covering everything from the basics to advanced, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.